The Apple Vision Pro has been in development for over 10 years. To put that into perspective, the Oculus launched their first Kickstarter for the first modern head-mounted display in August of 2012, and they didn't release a consumer device until March of 2016. This means that Apple has been working on their AR headset for at least as long as Oculus has, yet here they are announcing their first HMD after a decade of research, while Oculus, now known as Meta, just announced their sixth consumer device. Apple even claims that their device is the most advanced personal electronics device ever created. They even filed over 5,000 patents to create it. I bet you didn't know some of that, and this is the first of 20 things that you probably didn't know about Apple's Vision Pro. Maybe you didn't watch the entire presentation, or maybe you just haven't been keeping up with all of the tweets from Apple's ex-employees talking about all of the work that they've put into this device over the last 10 years to now finally bring it to the market. In any case, here's 19 more things that you probably didn't know about the most advanced AR device ever created. Number two, Apple's new headset can actually read your mind. An ex-Apple employee claims to have spent 10% of their entire life working on the Apple Vision Pro over the course of 10 years, and one of the biggest things he worked on was developing a model that can detect the mental state of the user based on data from their body and brain while using the device. It could predict if users were feeling curious, mind-wandering, scared, paying attention, remembering past experiences, or any other cognitive state. This is all inferred from eye tracking, electrical activity in the brain, heartbeats and rhythms, muscle activity, blood density, in the brain, blood pressure, skin conductance, or however you say that, and much more. The most practical use for this information is that the headset will actually be able to predict when you're going to click on something before you actually do it. This is because your pupils react before you click on anything because it expects something to happen, and so apparently the Vision Pro's eye tracking can see this and make the UI much more responsive as a result. People that have actually tested the device, including Marquez Brownlee, describe the use of eye tracking to interact with the UI as magical, and they're not using that word lightly. Number three, the Apple Vision Pro has so many sensors built into it that Apple created a brand new chip called the R1 chip made specifically to process all of the data from all of the sensors on the device. It has two front cameras, downward cameras, side cameras, and many IR illuminators so that you can use the device in dimly lit areas. It also has two more true depth cameras and a LiDAR scanner for real-time 3D mapping and more. And this is all just on the front of the device. It also has four IR cameras and two rings of LED illuminators, all for eye tracking that's so precise, you no longer need controllers to interact with the interface. You just use your eyes, hands, and voice. That's a total of 12 cameras, five sensors, and six microphones. That's the most sensors of any XR device that I've ever seen. And since all of that data is processed on its very own chip, Apple claims to be able to virtually eliminate input latency and to be able to send new images to the display within 12 milliseconds, which is eight times faster than the blink of an eye. So if you've ever used other VR headsets like Quest or Quest Pro and you didn't like the pass-through because of the latency is kind of laggy and weird, you'll probably like Apple's headset since they seem to have eliminated that completely. Number four, the Apple Vision Pro will have the highest resolution displays of any headset ever created. It will be using a new kind of screen known as Micro OLED that can fit 64 pixels into the same space as a single pixel on an iPhone. In total, it has 23 million pixels across its two screens. We don't know the exact resolution, but apparently it has more pixels than a 4K TV for each eye. This is more pixels than the Vario XR3, which has near retina level resolution. This means that the Apple Vision Pro will have such a high resolution that it'll be impossible for your eyes to perceive the difference between pixels and reality. In addition to this, Apple is using their very own unique optics that uses three different lenses combined to create ultimate clarity. All of this combined allows you to watch 4K content at real 4K resolution, as well as read text and other small details incredibly easy. Not to mention the foveated rendering from eye tracking to make sure that it can all run at this resolution with the chip included with it. Number five, Apple invented a brand new audio scanning technology that actually scans your room and adjusts the audio from the Apple Vision Pro speakers to make it sound like any of the sounds that you're hearing are coming from the room that you're in, not from the headset, but from the room that you're in. This technique called audio ray tracing will personalize the sound to you and immerse you in the virtual environments in a way that has never been done before. Objects that are placed into the environment through the augmented reality will feel like they're actually there thanks to the audio that the headset is creating. And as they say, audio is half of the experience. Number six, the Apple Vision Pro is so smart that it doesn't require you to click in boxes to type text. Instead, you'll simply look at the box or search bar with your own two eyes and simply start talking to input text into the box. Eye tracking and voice input completely removes that extra step of needing to click on the search bar. This may seem like a small detail, but in the creative and tech world, the primary 
primary market that Apple targets, saving a mouse click by using a hotkey or shortcut can literally save hours. Reducing the input down to simply looking and speaking, you can literally save hours of time a couple of seconds at a time. And this is just one example of how well the interface and its interactions merges with your biological self. This headset may not be implanted into your brain or on your body, but it is quite literally a technological extension of your biological body. Number seven, the Apple Vision Pro is so good that you won't be able to tell what's real and what's fake. The device blends virtual objects so perfectly with the real world, it actually looks like the interface is there in front of you as a physical object. It does this by having the UI respond to changes in your environment, such as how bright or dark it is. The UI can even cast shadows into your room, making it feel like it's really floating there as a computer screen. This is a really small detail, but it makes it incredibly more advanced than anything else on the market. Number eight, the Apple Vision Pro is one of the first and possibly the best spatial computing device ever created. Spatial computing refers to their spatial operating system that takes advantage of the 3D space around you to allow you to interact with the literal computer built into the headset. Historically, you would interact with a computer through like a mouse and a keyboard and a screen, and then it was touch input onto another flat screen when it came to mobile phones. Now interacting with a computer simply requires eye movement and hand gestures in a fully 3D environment. The headset, in addition to the R1 chip, will have an M2 chip, the same one that runs its Macs. So anything that you could do on Mac, you can also do on the headset. Browse the web, edit photos, write documents, and more, but do it with these massive screens and with as many windows as you want open. No more shuffling around tabs on your PC because you have a full 3D space around you to do your work and organize everything. Combine that with connecting a familiar mouse and keyboard, you'll be able to get work done so much faster, and that is what spatial computing is. And while many critics might say, you know, what's the big deal? Well, just imagine that you're building a wooden chair, but you only have a very small work table to make the chair on. While you might be able to get it done, having a much larger table with more space will allow you to do it more efficiently and more comfortably. In the same way, having more space around you for your tabs and screens can help you to organize your thoughts and complete your work much more quickly. Not to mention the ability to look at 3D objects as if they were right there in front of you, which is incredible for anyone that works with 3D. Number nine, the Apple Vision Pro has a computer built into it, but it can also connect to your Mac so that you can keep all of your work in one place. Simply look at your Mac screen and it will automatically open up that screen in front of you in the 3D world. And then of course you can move it around and resize it. Again, all you have to do is look at the Mac and this automatically happens like magic. In addition to this, you can even use other apps built into the Vision Pro alongside your Mac and they'll all integrate seamlessly together because that's the beauty of Apple, seamless integration across all of your devices. Number 10, the Vision Pro can create a scarily accurate copy of your face to use with FaceTime. When you receive the device and set it up for the first time, it's gonna scan your face and create a virtual replica that is primarily used when FaceTiming with the headset. This generally seems to be a much smaller use case, more there kind of as a convenience if you want to talk to somebody while using the headset. I personally don't think seeing floating windows of people's cameras is much better than just using a phone, at least not enough that people will grab the headset simply to FaceTime their mom. That said, the biggest benefit is that everyone's screens will be massive and when you're chatting with a lot of people, they'll all have their own individual tile where you can clearly see them. So that's kind of nice if you've ever been annoyed with the smaller windows on your phone. You'll even be able to share your screen while still clearly seeing everyone with their own tiles. Now the downside is that they're gonna see a fake virtual replica of yourself. And a lot of people that have tested the headset say that the avatars are a little bit creepy. While they're better than some of the cartoony avatars and other solutions out there, it's still not quite as good as simply using your phone and showing your real face. Number 11, the biggest thing that Apple Vision Pro can do that no other device can do is simply take pictures and videos. Let me clarify what I mean. It has a built-in camera for taking not just regular pictures and videos, but a new kind of picture or video that acts like a window into a virtual world. This is such an important feature for the device that one of the two buttons or dials on the headset is actually dedicated just to this function of taking 3D pictures and videos. It's really hard to see what this might look like, but imagine looking out a window and seeing your entire family there. That's what it's gonna be like to look at a picture taken from this headset. It'll be like looking through a window and seeing a full 3D environment, not just a flat image. This new type of image and video will literally give you a portal to the past to experience precious memories. Beyond that, you can still browse your normal photos and videos with this being the ultimate way to experience some of those panorama shots. Number 12, Apple is partnering with Disney to bring a new way to experience entertainment to the Apple Vision Pro. This isn't just watching a movie in your own giant theater, though of course that is an option and now 3D movies actually have a reason to exist because watching 3D movies in any VR headset is actually incredible. But beyond simply watching a flat movie, Disney and Apple are going to 
revolutionize how you interact with entertainment media. You'll now have a 3D immersive interface to browse Disney Plus, and it appears you'll even be able to enter some of the movies and shows in new 3D environments, and you could even watch those same movies and shows in the 3D environments for which they were made. And while I'm not a sports fan, the sports viewing experience is going to be massively different. You'll now have multiple screens to keep track of multiple games, stats, player info, and you'll even be able to see a miniature version of the game in front of you with a court view kind of replay system. And even classic Disney characters will be able to come to life in your home in front of you. As they said, what if you could bring Disney World into your world? And this is just a peek into the kinds of interactions you'll be able to experience with Disney content when this thing launches. Number 13, the Apple Vision Pro is not a gaming device. Most VR headsets up to this point have been primarily for gaming, meant to put you into virtual simulations of some amazing games and experiences. But the Apple Vision Pro is limited to simply allowing you to play regular flat screen games. And they said that only about 100 arcade titles will be available to play when it launches. That said, it's still cool to be able to connect a console controller and play some of your favorite games on a massive screen. Number 14, everyone is wrong about the Apple Vision Pro. A lot of people out there will tell you that it's a VR device, but it's actually much more advanced than that. It is purely an augmented reality headset. Well, some might argue that it's not real AR since it doesn't have a transparent lens. Just remember what AR stands for, augmented reality. And the whole purpose of the Vision Pro is to literally augment your reality in some amazing ways by adding new virtual things on top of reality. It doesn't really matter how it's done, but it's primarily a device to augment your reality. Therefore, it's an AR device. Number 15, despite being purely an AR device, the Apple Vision Pro can apparently still do some VR, but not to the level you're used to if you've used other VR devices. It can simulate vast virtual environments modeled after real environments, and it even gives you a dial to control how much of the environment is virtual and how much of it is real. By turning the dial, the world around you changes into a virtual environment meant to promote focus and relaxation. And the more you turn the dial, the more the real world is replaced by a virtual one. This is very different from other VR devices that either have virtual environments completely turned on or completely turned off. But instead, as an AR device, Vision Pro uses virtual environments in a more dynamic way to augment your reality. Instead of simply replacing it like VR does, it's more dynamic. Now, that isn't to say that the Vision Pro is better than VR, but it just serves a different purpose and functions differently than standard VR. 16. The new Vision Pro may look like it's see-through, but it's actually not. It has an OLED screen on the front that has one purpose, to communicate to those around you if you can see them or not. That's it. This technology is called EyeSight. Simply put, if you're using the device as an AR device with pass-through on, for example, you can see the real world around you, then the cameras on the inside of the headset will project an image of your eyes to the front of the headset as a sign to those around you that you can actually see them. Alternatively, if you're immersed into a virtual world or experience, the front panel will cover your eyes, indicating to those around you that you can't see them because you're immersed in another world. This system of blending reality to a virtual world is so advanced that if people get close to you while you're immersed into another world, it'll actually create a little portal where you can see them. And at the same time, the front panel will switch to show your eyes, indicating that you can now see the person that just came close to you. Number 17. When designing the Apple Vision Pro, Apple studied thousands of heads and built upon the research from developing all of their previous devices and wearables in order to make the ultimate and most comfortable head mounted display. In fact, when you actually go out to buy the device, you'll get fitted inside of an Apple store to get a facial interface that's the most optimal for your face shape and size. That said, a few people have been able to try the headset and actually describe it as being rather heavy, which really isn't surprising considering the whole front of the device is glass and the frame is made of metal. All of that said, it doesn't even have a battery built into it. The battery actually goes into your pocket instead of being on your head. So that should lighten it up a little bit. In addition to this, the strap is removable. So there's likely going to be some third party straps to make it more comfortable and maybe have a built in battery to kind of balance out the weight on the front. Number 18. So you may be wondering, how long is the battery life? The Apple Vision Pro apparently will only have a two hour battery life, which isn't even long enough to watch many movies, which is one of the main ways they're marketing the device to watch movies. The external battery that sits in your pocket isn't the only option for power, however. You'll actually be able to plug the device into a wall to be able to get unlimited power, but of course when you do that, you lose the freedom of being able to move around in your 3D space as easily. This is honestly the biggest limitation of the device, but I'm sure there's going to be third-party accessories that will allow you to carry a massive brick-sized battery in your pocket if you really decide that you want more than two hours. 19. All of the hundreds of thousands of apps already available on iPad and iPhone will be available on Vision Pro at launch. Everything from Lightroom for editing pictures to Microsoft Office and Zoom. This means that unlike 
other VR headsets that have struggled to get content for their devices, the Vision Pro will immediately have nearly unlimited use cases right off the bat. And because of the Vision OS designed to allow you to use multiple apps at once in a 3D space, you'll have a unique way to be able to use all of these apps simultaneously with each other, something that's not possible as easily on other devices. And of course, there's going to be integration with Unity now so that future apps will be able to gain access to the unique capabilities of Vision Pro, such as, you know, your hand tracking, 3D rendering, and pass-through. These apps will all be available on a new app store filled with apps specifically for the headset. 20. Apple's new Vision Pro will allow you to unlock the device using retina scans, you know, kind of like in the spy movies. The new Optic ID will scan your eyes with the built-in eye tracking to instantly unlock the Vision Pro, and it will work seamlessly with other features like Apple Pay and password autofill. In addition to this, there may obviously be some privacy concerns, but Apple says that all the data such as eye tracking and camera pass-through data is processed at the system level and therefore inaccessible to apps and websites that you might download onto the device. So you'll be able to rest assured that everything is secure and private. And that's it. The device will come out next year for the hefty price tag of nearly $3,500. Many say this device is targeted for developers and very early adopters, so don't feel too bad if you can't afford it yet. I will say though, I personally don't own any Apple devices because I generally dislike the company, but they sold me on this device. And in the future, it might be worth entering the Apple ecosystem simply to integrate the headset with everything else that I might use daily. Now, of course, if there's anything I missed, drop it in the comments below and let me know what you think and if you'll be getting this advanced AR headset. Thanks for watching.